Hey there, um, this is a, a video for Ian and Amanda, um, Cross Mac, and can't remember her screen name, something, Tiny Love Flower, or something or other, I don't know. Um, anyway, first of all, just remember that, you know that opinions are like, you know, whatever. Everybody has one, so... <laughs> I really don't think you should be paying too much attention to all this YouTube stuff because you actually have a relationship that, I don't know, maybe you should like ignore all this YouTube insanity because in the end of the day we're just like little bits of information going, you know, a bunch of ones and zeros just flittering in the air, you know. so. Having said that, I'm just gonna say that um, I'm just gonna offer my my best advice. I don't know. First, I wanted to say that um, if there's one thing that you guys should recognize, it's that you have no boundaries with each other. That you're like totally walking all over each other with and ignoring each other's boundaries in the last video where you, well not the last video, but in the video where you guys are fighting, <laughs> um, it was kind of obvious that um, Amanda did not want to like live her whole life online, <laughs> you know, out in front of everybody just to get like uh, criticized by everybody and Ian was just, Ian you were just pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and sometimes you have to just you know not push it sometimes and just let things go and um, my therapist was telling me a funny story where um, she said that she'd get couples in for counseling and they would actually um, follow each other around the house like screaming at like one person would be screaming at the other person to do something and the person would go from room, well the couple would go from room to room and they would just be screaming at each other and that doesn't really solve anything and no one's gonna like listen to you when you're screaming at them. So you just like have to step back even, I mean I understand the need to just say it's nothing, it's nothing, just do it, you know, it'll be good for you, whatever. Because I'm like a person who likes to push the envelope a little bit. Um, and I like to say, you know, well, oh, it, you know, it doesn't matter, it just, but some people can't, like, they don't want to be pushed, um, and it's too much for them to handle, and then they end up, you know, getting mad and fighting back or running away or something, but, um, so, I think you guys should just like try to pay attention to each other's boundaries. It's 11.15. Oh, 11.15. My clock's uh, on my computer's talking. Anyway, um, just remember that, you know, it's good to respect each other's boundaries. Because when you don't respect each other's boundaries, it makes the other pe person feel like helpless and hopeless that this person, like, is not respecting their boundaries at all. So. I mean, I know it's a hard thing to do because I have the same problem, but um, it's important. And I don't know, Ian, if you just can't see that you have broken Amanda's heart into a million little pieces by what you've done um, with cheating on her. And it's like, here she is sitting there and um, basically you've totally broken her heart and you're acting like it's no big deal. Oh, it's just like I fucked around, but it's no big deal. But to her, it is a big deal. And I don't know if you just can't see that or whatever. Because um, it's obvious from to me, from someone looking in from the outside, is that you've just like completely broken her heart. And um, to expect her to be better all of a sudden, you know, like within two weeks of telling her this, that you've been cheating on her, um, it's like, I wouldn't be better, I would, like, be, like, totally broken up about it, too, so, um, and I guess, y you know, you guys really do have kind of a crazy relationship, but if both of you decide that you want to stay in the relationship, 
I mean, and both of you have to decide if that's what you want to do. Um, then you probably should, like, get some, spend your yoga money on, like, counseling or something, like, couples counseling, to, like, be in a safe space where nobody feels threatened and you can get some help with the issues that you're having because otherwise you're just gonna like continue this abusive behavior between the two of you and you're gonna be miserable for like years and years and I think you should like definitely listen to what Rock and Jellyfish had to say um, because yeah you could just wind up I don't know if maybe you feel like you need to be miserable to be in love or something I don't know I'm not a love expert but it just doesn't look like it's working how it is and what else so oh, I was gonna say I was gonna write this in a letter but then I tried to and then the email thing on YouTube's not working so it's really annoying so I had to make a stupid video um, <laughs> and um, what else was I gonna say yeah, I think you definitely need to, something has to change because you guys are tearing each other apart and it's like watching a train wreck. It's probably why I'm watching it at all. Um, and I don't like to see you guys doing this to each other. It's sad. Um, and if if Ian wants to have an open relationship and Amanda if you don't want to have an open relationship then it's not gonna work because you you know you can't you guys need to decide on one thing and Ian you have to stick with it if you're if she doesn't want an open relationship then you can't have an open <laughs> open relationship and you know if that's what you want Ian then you should you know end the relationship and go have you know all the sex of your life that you want with whoever you want, but don't like force Amanda to participate in that if she doesn't want to, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but <laughs> I don't know. I just feel really bad for you guys, and I wish that you could, like, if you are going to stick together, you both have to decide that that's what you want to do and you have to decide that you want the same thing out of the relationship the same like boundary issue you know issues like you can't go cheating on her all the time and you need to respect other people's boundaries when you even when you argue and I guess that's all I have to say so uh, sorry I know just like you don't even need to listen to this because you know, I'm just like some stupid YouTube person, so you shouldn't really listen to me either, but you guys should like pay attention to your own life, and if Amanda doesn't want to make her whole entire life public, then don't force her to, because that's ridiculous. Some people like to have like a normal life, and yeah, whatever. So that's it. Bye.